Hey everyone, my name's Dean if you're new to the channel and I thought I'd come out today to talk to you about my Ortlieb Trunk Bag RC. Alright, the first thing we'll do is just get into the specs. Um, the volume of the bag is 12 liters, the actual weight of the bag is 800 grams. It uses a system called the Top Lock Adapter and fits racks between 80 and 160 millimeters in width. It comes with a little gauge that helps you set up the, the width of the uh, bars on the bottom. Um, I'll show a little more detail of those pictures right here where you can see the bottom and uh, they move in and out so you can adjust them uh, to the width of your rack, like I said, anywhere between 80 and 160 millimeters. The carrying load for this bag is 22 pounds, but I mean, we all know that that's just a reference. Um, I've definitely had uh, quite a bit of weight in here. 22 pounds is quite a bit just for this one bag though, so that's not too bad at all. It is a seam welded bag, and um, I've had no issues at all with it whatsoever. It's also a roll top, roll top closure, as you will see. It opens quite easily, closes quite easily. The only knock I would say is that maybe the Velcro could be a little stronger, but the only issue I've had is when I'm slinging my, my leg over, the way I get on my bike, I have to swing my leg over and sometimes it catches the flap and opens it, but it has never come open on its own while I'm riding or anything like that. And then you can carry it by the handle after it's rolled up and closed. So pretty good feature. And of course, we have to talk about the price. Um, in Canada, you can buy it on Ortlieb's uh, website for $179.99 Canadian. Um, and you can probably find it different prices um, across the board if you do your research. You can probably find it cheaper, but um, that's the price on Ortlieb's website. And that's also the link that I've left in the description is for Ortlieb Canada. So the main thing about this bag and what makes this bag really good is the ease of putting it on and taking it off. Super easy, as you'll see, it's very simple system. Um, as you'll see, um, I, that easy. I should have mentioned right off the bat that I do have two other videos about this bag. Um, one being the initial thoughts kind of video about what my first impressions of the bag. And then another one was actually about a little mishap I had with the bag where this handle on the one side broke, um, what would be the non-drive side of the bike. Um, kind of a weird situation, um, really didn't deter my thoughts on Ortlieb or take away from what I think of the company. Um, I was out, I had the bike outside of a sub shop or Mexican place, I can't remember. It was super windy that day and I looked back and I literally saw the wind pick my bike up and kind of toss it. It landed on that handle and it snapped off, but the it still works perfectly. I contacted Orlieb. They sent me a new handle, um, but I was using it without it. And I'm not an engineer, but I actually think the bag's better with just one handle. As you'll see, it goes on very easily with the one handle. And now you just have one handle to worry about. So I don't know, less things to break, um, less weight, all that stuff. But yeah, it works perfectly good without the other handle. So I do have the handle that Ortlieb sent me. No questions asked. I contacted Ortlieb. Customer care was great. I believe I spoke with Mark and he just immediately, I think within two days, I had a new handle at home. No questions asked. Of course, no charge as well. Okay, so why do I feel like I'm qualified to talk about this bag? Well, I put about 7,000 kilometers on it this summer and put it through its paces. Uh, at one point, I did a five-week stretch when I toured up to Quebec and then back to Windsor, Ontario. And the bag performed flawlessly. I can't really say anything bad about it. Got caught in that major rainstorm where my Blackburn frame bag failed, unfortunately. And uh, like I said, all my Ortlieb stuff was money. No water got in at all. Um, for reference, I do use a lot of other Ortlieb bags. I have rear panniers and front panniers, as well as an Ortlieb frame bag, um, four liter frame bag. That no issues with it. Uh, like I mentioned in the, frame, the Blackburn frame bag review, the only thing I wanted was a bag with two compartments. That's why I got this one. If you want to find out why that one failed so bad, check out this video up here and you'll see why I don't recommend that you purchase the Blackburn frame bag. But getting back to the Ortlieb, um, it's a great bag, uh, very durable. It's all uh, seam welded, like I think I already mentioned. So you don't have any worries about any moisture getting in through any stitching whatsoever. 
The roll top closure ensures that you're not going to get any rain through a faulty zipper and you don't have to worry about a zipper breaking. So a lot of people think the zippers are more convenient, but after you use a roll top, it's really not bad at all. There's like how much of a hurry can you be in, you know? So yeah, I definitely think that the system that they're using with the roll top closure is what makes Ortley bags so waterproof and why they kind of shy away in a lot of cases from using zippers on their products. All right, let me tell you what my final thoughts are on the Ortlieb Trunk Bag RC and would I recommend it. Okay, the Ortlieb Trunk Bag RC. I definitely would recommend it 100%. I had no issues with it. I mean, aside from when it did fall over and break, but like I said, I think that was more of a freak accident. Um, I don't really think that that's something that's gonna be a big problem going forward. Most of the time I have the uh, pannier bags on the bike, so that's not an issue. Um, one thing I will say about the bag, it's a great everyday bag as well. I keep that bag on the bike most of the time when I'm commuting around town. It's just so easy to take on and off and bring in stores with me. Um, it's 12 liters, so the volume is pretty decent and you can take a lot of extra clothing, footwear, stuff like that. So it has been a great all around bag, not just for touring as well. Never used a lot of trunk bags before, but they've quickly become one of my favorite bags along with the frame bag. Um, they serve such a good purpose. Just keep in mind the more weight you put in the trunk bag with it being a little higher on the bike, it will affect the handling of the bike at times if you get too carried away with the weight. I don't know that I've had 25 pounds in it. Um, maybe I have, but like I said, just be aware that the more weight you put higher up, the more it affects the uh, stability of the bike going forward. I keep thinking that I'm gonna maybe get a different uh, trunk bag for my longer trips because I wanted a bigger bag, but I don't know, the bigger trunk bag you have, the more you're gonna put in it, and then it goes to what I just said about having too much weight in the bag. So I think I might actually just stick with this bag that I have now, and why not? It has not failed me at all. So like I said, I would definitely recommend it. It is a little pricey at $180 Canadian, but I have quickly found out that you get what you pay for. I tried out another trunk bag as well last summer, um, a Basil MIK, I cannot, Basil Miles MIK. So it's made to fit specifically on the Bontrager rack that I'm using. The problem was the quality of the bag itself. The, the attachment system was fantastic, but the zipper was horrendous. The inside liner bag was terrible. There's a link to the video right up here if you wanna check it out, just so you, in my opinion, can avoid that bag. If you are using a Bontrager uh, rack and you do find a good bag that has the MIK system, I would definitely recommend it. All right guys, I'm not gonna get into too much more. Um, if you're watching this video, it's gonna be uh, Sunday, October 29th, and my birthday's the next day on October 30th. I will be 54. Um, some people that I know think, seem to think that that means I'm gonna start slowing down a bit, but for me, the older I get, the more I feel like I need to get done. So. 2024 should be huge. I'm really, really hoping that the Great Divide mountain bike route is gonna happen. If, if the only reason it might not help happen is because of finances, but otherwise, even if I don't do that, some really big things are gonna happen, but fingers crossed that the, GD, uh, the Great Divide mountain bike route happens in 2024. But there will be some other rides around that as well, so stay tuned. I want to mention if you'd like to help support the channel, there's different ways. The one way I'm going to really, the two ways I'm going to really recommend to most people are going to be the one-time way is buy me a coffee. It's a one-time commitment. You just buy me as many coffees as you want. One, two, three, a hundred, whatever you want. Um, and the other way is the join button that you'll see beside the subscribe button under the video. That is so you can join the channel and there's different tiers, different uh, amounts that you can get in on at. And But keep in mind, this is a recurring payment. It will happen monthly. It is probably the best way that you can help me out with my channel by far. I do have a Patreon, but I think I'm gonna cancel it because it just hasn't taken off. And I don't feel that if it did, I could give it the right commitment to the Patreon because it's almost like having another YouTube channel if you're gonna do it right for the people that are donating to that Patreon account. All right, so we're gonna wrap it up here. Uh, like I said, I would recommend the Ortlieb Trunk Bag RC. It is a great bag if you're looking for a trunk bag. And if you haven't used a trunk bag and you have a rack on your bike, I would definitely recommend giving it a shot. I was kind of apprehensive towards them before too. Now, like I said, it is my go-to bag. All right, everyone. I hope the fall weather is beautiful where you live like it has been here and you're getting out there and doing something you love. And I and I hope you like this video and if nothing else, found it informative and it can uh, help you 
in researching when you're looking for gear. That's my main goal with these videos is to help people out, inform them, and let them know if it's something that they want to go with. I know whenever I buy bags or any gear, I always watch videos on YouTube, go on different forums, research it, and make sure that the money I'm putting into this gear, which is usually very expensive, is the right gear for me. All right, so that wraps up this review on the Ortlieb Trunk Bag RC, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.